Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So today in this video, I'm going to share you a list of 20 companies which hires clinicals as freshers. Okay, so the very first company in this list is Lily and Lily mostly hire fresher from September to Jan month. Now this hiring is not limited to September to Jan month only. Few of our students got selected on May month as well. Okay, so keep applying. And the sample size we have taken 45 people data. Okay, now the second company in this list is Paraxel and Paraxel mostly hire fresher from Fab to May. And again, the sample size this time we have taken 50. If I'm talking about sample size, it means this data we have collected from 50 people who got hired as an fresher in these companies. Okay. The third company in this list is Coens. Down their name got updated to Fortria. Okay. And they mostly hire from Jan to March and September to December. Okay. And we are talking about clinical size freshers. Okay. And the sample size we have taken from 40 people data. The fourth company in this list is Novartis and they mostly hire from August to December and the sample size we have taken from 50 people and the fifth company in this list is IQVIA they mostly hire from Fab to April also start month of all quarters okay and again the sample size here is 50 people we have taken the next company in this list is Novo Nordisk and they mostly hire from August to November and again the sample size is 40 people the next company in this list is TCS and the hiring month is Fab to May and the sample size is 35. The next company in this list is Accenture and they mostly hire from Jan to March. Sample size is 35. The next company is PPD. They mostly hire freshers from March to August and the sample size is from 50 people. The 10th company in this list is Johnson & Johnson. They mostly hire from August to December and the sample size we have taken from 40 people. The next company in this list is Sanofi. They mostly hire in March, August and November and the sample size we have taken from 50 people. The 12th company in this list is Pfizer and they mostly hire from April to August and the sample size we have taken from 45 people. The 13th company in this list is AstraZeneca. They mostly hire from April to September. The sample size is 45. The next company is GSK. They mostly hire freshers from March to August. The sample size we have taken from 40 people. Next company is Merck. They mostly hire from Jan to March and September to November. Sample size we have taken from 40 people. Next company is Bioclinica. They mostly hire in December, April and October. Sample size we have taken from 40 people. Next company in this list is Cognigent. They mostly hire from March to May. Sample size we have taken from 35 people. Next company in this list is Efficacy. They mostly hire freshers from March to July. Sample size we have taken from 50 people and the last company in this list is Sinos Health. They hire from Jan to April and the sample size we have taken from 50 people. Okay, so uh, this data we have taken from fresher joinings and their hirings. Okay, especially in uh, CRO companies or those companies which hire clinical SaaS programmer. Some of the companies they focus more on on campus. Okay, but if you leave some of the companies Apart from that, all other companies focus on off-campus as well, on-campus as well. Even Lilly, Paraxel, these companies also hire from off-campus, but their focus is more on campus. There are multiple ways that you can figure out this data point. You can check on LinkedIn as well. You can check people profile, those who got hired as in fresher. You can check their joining date. Even you can ask to connections as well uh, that when people get hired, in this CROs and which month to cross verify this information. The fresher hiring is not limited to this month. Some of our students got selected in different months. So what I believe hiring can be happen at any time. You should be ready for that interview. You should be ready to crack the interview. You should be ready to attend the interview. Okay. You should be prepared. On top of that, I'll give you a tip here that most of the people, they face difficulty in interview because of lack of practice and lack of solving questions okay so you solve questions as much as possible you can get questions from internet as well from youtube from websites from anywhere most of the people they are able to answer in a general way but once the interviewer will ask in a scenario question okay they'll put uh, a scenario in front of the candidate the candidate is not able to solve the question so that issue can be resolved or taken care by solving questions so make a habit of solving a minimum three questions daily even after completion of training, even during the training as well. And this will help you to ensure that you are able to understand that if someone is asking me a question or someone is giving me a scenario, 
which of the topic or which of the function or proc step or data step I can utilize to solve that particular scenario. So that's all guys in today's video. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you everyone and bye bye everyone.